I would like to read a little excerpt from Anthony Bourdain's Layout Cookbook. Oh, steaming heap of pork, thy glistening hues of white and gray and pink, the aromatic waft of s waft of sauerkraut, redolent of Germans pouring across the border yet again into France with their bacon and their sausages. This is not a dish, this is a party. Just promise me, no oompa music. I don't even know what oompa music is, but welcome back to Bourdain. Everybody should know how to use a knife. Use everything, waste nothing. Let's start at the beginning. It ain't that hard, okay? Welcome to my kitchen. If you are new, my name is Rich May. I'm working through every recipe in Anthony Bourdain's Layout Cookbook. If you're not new, you know the freaking deal. We're going to try a recipe for the first time. Today we're making choucrou garni. I know that was awful, but we're making this entire dish for my family. Basically, we're taking delicious German delicacies and heating them up, and I'm gonna tweak it with a little Polish vibe. AB says here, the hardest part of this dish is the shopping. Once you have your ingredients, you can almost not screw this up. That shopping was pretty interesting, especially for us folk in the Eastern region of the States. Bourdain even says we may have a slight advantage. Let me take you with me real quickly to show you the cool shops I hit up that have these unique ingredients that we're basically just gonna heat up. I like living in Jersey, but this admittedly I am not a fan of. So the first place we're off to, a Polish American deli. This is the spot. I remember going here when I was little and they used to have the Kinder Eggs with the actual cool toys inside of them. They have homemade pierogies and even the smoked tenderloin, which I thought we were going to have to get at the German shop. And I must mention one of my favorite sausages right here, Cabanosa. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly, but highly, highly recommend. Polish food, Eastern European food, that stuff was made to sit on your bones. I don't really know what I mean by that, but like, you know, stick to your bones. That stuff was made to stick to your bones. And this stuff is gold. Here she is. It's a freaking sausage. But like I said, it's got natural casing. It's smoked, I believe. And it's just not too fatty. It's got the perfect texture in my opinion. You can tell when I really like something because I get the hands moving like crazy. 100%, if you're anywhere near, try this place out. Now we are off to Rikers, a German, tea special, a German specialty shop where they have the German cuts that we need. The sausages, the Wieners. I'm excited, it's in Philly. Let's see if they allow me to record in there. Fortunately, they did let my goofy ass record in there and it is pretty neat. They had everything I needed. I got to sample this aspic-like unique slice of mystery meat and it wasn't too bad actually. Well, that was nothing short of an amazing experience. Walking in, there's like a blast from the past. People are super nice, 100% recommend that place. Let's get back to the kitchen. We're good to go. We're going to start with our sauerkraut and potatoes, which AB says you should already have strained and boiled. That's what I did. Next, we are going to make a little caramelized onions because why not? A little bit of butter. It's a lot of onion boys. Do a little bit of salt, not too much because these are gonna reduce pretty heavily. A little bit of water, bring that up to a boil, chopped up the pork belly and we salted it. It's kind of amazing. Pork belly is bacon. Bacon is pork belly. I hear people talk about pork belly waxing poetic. It's freaking bacon and vice versa. It does look amazing though. I could wax about that all night long. Look, look at that freaking pretty nice. Onions have broken down a little bit. Gonna lower this heat down to freaking low, 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 low. Now we move to our sauerkraut. Think of this as duck or pork fat. It's actually ghee. Freaking love ghee. I love clarified butter. Onions in the pot. I'm gonna sweat these down. And just a trick, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt to extract some of that moisture and accelerate the process here. These are nice and translucent. We have our sauerkraut, which has been drained. Gonna kick up the heat a little bit. Coriander seeds, pretty cool. I feel pretty artisanal doing that. Juniper berries, again, those sound kind of like a fairy tale. Garlic, one clove, crushed up. Bourdain calls for one bay leaf. Let's do two, why not? Three cups of white wine. You add white wine to anything, it's gonna taste good. So we'll give this a stir, bring that up to a boil. Kaden, the cameraman, is going to extremes to film this right now. She's coming up to a simmer. Now we have the fun part. Smoked pork loin from Polish American Deli. Our big pieces of bacon. So I would like these to render out their fat and then give them a nice quick sear. We'll see what happens there. Slap a lid on here, put this down to a simmer. Through the magic of YouTube, we will return in an hour and a half. Okay, if you would pan to our lovely caramelized onions, as you can see, caramelized nicely. There's a little fond on the bottom, which we're going to take care of. I like to add just a splidge of malt vinegar. Any kind of vinegar works, but I figure this adds like a nice little contrast. What the heck, is the burner even on? Why not add like a little touch of wine? Those look good. 
Get them off on our baby burner. Check this out, let's see what this looks like. Looking pretty interesting, not gonna lie. I don't know exactly what we do with all this liquid we have in there. I'm not sure if we strain it, drain it. We just have to heat up these freaking sausages and uh, some potatoes Bourdain calls for as well. I figure we're not gonna add a whole lot of water. We're just going to steam them up. After that, we're going to move on to crispifying some pierogi. I don't know if I say that right. I'm learning Italian, sometimes I end up rolling my R's like, Pierogi, <laughs> that's not it. This looks nice, yes, but I would really like to get that nice and rendered and crispified. So I think I might flash it with a little oil just to render out some of that fat. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Is it called for the recipe? Absolutely freaking not. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Let's add our snossages to the pot. They are linked. <laughs> natural casing, I can already tell. These are natural cased. Blink those boys in there. And then we add these pale ones. I never actually had these before. Our spuddy boys to the party. Sling them off to the side. That's not working. That was in a preheated burner oven, huh? Are you still filming? I was. That's good. While those are coming to temp, I must thank our Ko-Fi producers, donators. It's been very helpful. Drewby Doobie Drew, Ko-Fi supporter. Joko, Ko-Fi supporter. Bent Moritz, Ko-Fi supporter. And John Ross from Nebraska. I don't know if there's a better name. Back to the uh, crispifying. A little oil, something smoking. I'm not sure what or why or where. Let's add our boys, shall we? Just to kiss them. Well, that's doing its thing. Let's come over to our other pan. I got these from uh, my biology class. It's some nice color there, nothing crazy. Just I just want a browning. I just want some brownage. Should have taken out that sauerkraut, but whatever. Pan for the pierogies. Place these boys in. Sausages, that, this, that. ADD is like loving it, but at the same time, the anxiety is like, ah, uh, you know. I can't believe I'm using these things. Everything is kind of coming together. The air is not that clear and breathable right now, but if you want to join my journey, if you want to see what I am up to, think about subscribing and supports me big time. And of course, you have the option to donate anything on Ko-Fi and get a shout out. I want to do like a chef's table style, top-down view of this marvelous feast. Let's go. currently diving in commenting on <laughs> the white colored sausage. I'm about to join them. Thank you for spending your time with me. This was another episode of Back to Bourdain. Stay organized and clean up after yourself. You do the best you can. <laughs>